hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use a google domain on squarespace let's begin using a google domain with your squarespace website is a straightforward process that offers several advantages now what i wanted to do is to log into your google site domain because if you haven't already we're going to set it up okay so we can start with a blank site or just um maybe hover to the template for example this one i'm going to choose the family update what will happen is you would be forwarded here on this specific page of course you can be creative and type in some information here for example i'm going to put in something like this i'm going to choose on a different um font style for that maybe this one and the uh font size is going to be this how about 72 make it like a different color something that pops out all right and then from here all i have to do is essentially go to the upper right corner all right so i'm not going to deal with all of these information for now but th the idea is we're going to create a domain here with Google site. Now, there's going to be a cog icon settings. And here, all we have to do is go to the, I want you to click on the left side we're in. There's going to be the custom domains. If you haven't already, you might want to make your site easier to remember with a custom domain like with this one. Click the start setup. All right, so enter the domain. For this video, I'm just going to this for now how about now doing so it says something like an error this domain is not verified and please verify your ownership we're gonna do that if we click on this button right here you see you would be forwarded to the google search console all right and to start select property type we're gonna click on continue now all we have to do is click on continue what will happen is it's checking verification just wait for it and it'll give you a specific set of instructions that you need to follow this is very important okay now you have two options here you can select the record type which is going to be text or txt which is recommended or the c name all right all I have to do is copy the CNAME record below into the DNS configuration for gplabs.com. Or if you click on the TXT, it's the same process. If you can't verify a domain name provider, you can try this a small um, option here. All right, all I have to do is click on the verify. Just wait for it to load. Now, as you can see, the ownership verification panel, but don't worry because I need you to switch back to your Squarespace because I want you to go to the domain section because if you haven't already purchased a domain, that's going to be the error that you'll get from the Google Domains TXT or C name. I want you to click on the upper right corner and click on the account dashboard. And from here, you might want to click on the website that you're going to connect to. Click on settings there's going to be an option here on the website that says domains and email i want you to click on it and of course register and manage domains from squarespace or other domain sellers which is going to be from google okay so in this case use a domain you own all right and enter that domain for example that's going to be deep laughs i want you to click on the arrow What will happen is you would be forwarded to that. Now, if it's not registered, all you have to do is get a domain for yourself, all right? Now, search for your domain here. You can type in that and press enter. For example, this one, deeplabs.com. Just click on it, go to checkout, and just follow the on screen instructions save and continue and pay for it at the end of your 
registration process okay and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video